Welcome back guys. In today's video, we will be exploring the process of generating an image using SDXL Base 1.0 along with the SDXL Refiner in SD Next. As we discussed in our previous video, SDXL Base 1.0 is specifically optimized for vibrant and accurate colors, offering improved contrast, lighting, and shadows compared to its predecessor, all in a native 1024 by 1024 resolution. Now, we'll take it a step further and attempt to combine SDXL Base 1.0 with the SDXL Base Refiner 1.0. Let's see the amazing results this combination can achieve. Before we continue, I'd like to kindly remind you to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. By subscribing, you'll stay up to date with all our latest content. Alright, let's proceed and dive into the exciting part of the video. First, let's download the models from the Hugging Face website. Before we proceed with the download, let's log into our account. In case you don't have an account yet, don't worry, creating one is a breeze. Simply follow the provided instructions, and you'll have your account set up in no time. Once you've successfully logged in, you'll find both of the files right here on this page. In case you can't locate them here. Just head over to the Model tab, click on it, over here you'll find both of the models. Click on the file. Over here go to Files and Version tab. Click on it. Scroll down the page, and you'll find a small download icon. Simply click on that icon to download the files. Now that we have the files, let's proceed to copy or cut them to the sd.nextstablediffusion subfolder directory. If you haven't installed sd.next yet, you can watch my video on how to install sd.next, which will guide you through the installation process step by step. Let's open the web UI. Now, in the Stable Diffusion Checkpoints section, let's select SDSXL Base 1.0. Then, in the Stable Diffusion Refiner section, let's choose SDXL Refiner 1.0. In the Sampling method, let's choose Euler A. Next, set the height and width to 768. Leave all the other settings as default. Let's type a simple prompt. Now, click on the Generate button. By the way, guys, SD.next requires a 12GB NVIDIA GPU. So, we will experience slow image production if we are using a low RAM GPU. There you have it folks. We already generated an image with the power of SDXL Base 1.0 and SDXL Refiner 1.0. Even with the setting of low resolution, it can still produce a good quality image. Look at the details, it's really sharp and clear. That's all for now guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it informative or entertaining. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to stay updated with more exciting content like this, your support means the world to me, and I appreciate each and every one of you. If you have any suggestions for future videos or topics you'd like me to cover, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye, and have a nice day.